Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for being here today to this new episode of Music with Nick or Slash Marathon. Um, today's video is sponsored by Matt. I'm super excited. As I've always said before, in every Matt sponsored video, it's going to get wild. It's going to be different. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone and, you know, expose you to some something new or you're a fan of these bands and you clicked on the video because you already know what you're getting into but that's the way i feel every time when i do a reaction to matt it's it challenges me you know it's it's not always um to my i don't know like he chooses stuff that i sometimes i'm not super comfortable with but i after a while i get into so it's really really interesting always when when we do a, a matt request a matt marathon um so today i'm wearing again my beanie i just washed my hair and um i'm just fighting with it so i'm just like hey let's put on the beanie let's just skip this whole like <laughs> won't have any trouble throughout the video so um uh, so let's get started with the list of songs we're going to do today of course thank you so much everyone for being here for checking out the video i hope you enjoy this marathon um now i do know one band that's pretty much it now if i know more please excuse me sometimes i do forget the names but i'm very familiar I mean, not very, very familiar with the band, but I know that I've we've reacted to the Style Council, but that's the only one that I re recognize of this list. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to do, the first song is going to be by the band ABC, and this is called Poison Arrow, and uh, this is from the album The Lexicon of Love. Let's see what year. This is 82. All right, so I have no idea what we're going to get, get into here. Then we're going to do Spandau Ballet. Okay, Spandau Ballet. Uh, the song Gold from the album Gold. Uh, the Best Of. This is from 2000. Now, this reminds me a little bit. There's a, a German band which we have to check out uh, called Panzer, which means tank ballet. Um, really cool prog, really, really weird uh, fusion prog like metal all sorts of stuff um maybe we'll we'll do that soon uh then the style council my ever-changing moods now there were two versions um i just grabbed the longer one uh there's a an acoustic version pretty much and this is i think the normal version d the, the um it says here long hot summers the story of the style council um it doesn't say what year but this is like the the ultimate edition i think of the album and on this album there were four versions on there one shorter like a radio edit i'm just gonna do the five minute 43 second one just you know just i'll just i'll always go with the longer versions and then five young cannibals uh five young cannibals couldn't care more from the five young cannibals debut 85 all right and the house martins uh, the song Build from the album The People Who Grinned Themselves to Death, 1987. So really cool. Um, there is no... Uh, so, whoa, that's very bright. So Matt didn't give me any sort of like instruction or anything. So I'm just going to, you know, listen to this and react and see what, what, what it is, you know. Sometimes what I do is when it's super weird, I do pull it up, you know, on Wikipedia and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that today. But yeah, let's let's give it up for ABC with Poison Arrow. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hope you enjoy.
Reminds me so much of another song with the keyboards that dun 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 dun. Now I wish I knew, but I looked it up because last time I did a reaction to that song, the the, the one that I just sang, I was like, that is from a soundtrack from a video game where basically you drive in a car and you do all this like crazy stuff and. Uh, and basically, while you're driving, you're always listening to a radio station, right? And they pretty much play amazing stuff. And I just typed in GTA. It's called Grand Theft Auto. And they po they play this. But I never, I've never heard this. They play hundreds of songs on this radio station. So throughout the game, if you finish the whole thing, which I never did, uh, then I guess you'll hear it, I guess, once or twice. Because there's like 60 songs, you know, that they just like randomly play. And but they play the poison arrow like I so it could have been that I've maybe heard it before in short. Um, but honestly, I can't say that I've ever had. But this, 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 dun, 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 dun. Um, it, it wasn't that melody, but the keyboard, the same sound of, of synth. I loved it. I love the, the voice and I love the drums and the 80s vibe and the whole thing. Very, very cool. I love it. Really, really. This, this is a. Actually, this kind of music is very, very easy, you know, to digest. And um, I would always, like, I would listen to this, like, all day. <laughs> totally. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, this was Poison Hour. Um, uh, yeah, just like it has. And even though it's from the 80s, it does still have that 70s vibe in a way, you know. I guess it's 82. It still has that sound, that it doesn't have that... It, I mean, it sounds a little bit like disco because of the strings and stuff, the synth, but the bass is already so 80s, you know, or even 90s. It reminds me of because we always wa we always watch, um, you know, um, uh, Seinfeld, you know, the bass, boom, 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 boom. you know, that kind of bass, like that over saturated, like slap and pull, you know, um, super cool. OK, well, this was really, really good. I love that. Um. I 
almost want to like pause the video and check out the other song and maybe add it to the marathon, but I can do that at the end if it's ABC or what other band it might be. Um, now this next song is gold, um, Spandau Ballet. Let's, let's check it out. Sorry that the chairs are all warm I left them here, I could have sworn These are my salad days Maybe be an eternal way Just another play for today Oh, but I'm proud of you, but I'm proud of you Nothing left to make me feel small Luck has left me standing so So good that was so good and it had like the 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 voice uh of the uh vocalist reminded me so much of tears for fears it has that same like i don't know that the deepness or i think uh let me i want to look because it doesn't say here when this came out this was so good it was so catchy Whew, 1983 Gold. Man, that was really. We're going to do. I already know what we're going to do. At the end, we're going to play another uh, Spandau Ballet song. And let's just go with number two. 
uh, from their gold album. Gold is the first one, but the most listened to is true. So we're going to do that at the end. And also, you know, I do it because it's, and I sound like a broken record by now, but it's a Warner Brothers and um, we're not, I've, I, I, did, I had such a success story the other day. I got 22 emails um, and 22 emails were like, Oh, each email was was like congratulations, you know, and uh, your your um, um, dispute um, was reviewed, and uh, basically it said, oh, you since it's fair use, you know, re you're reacting. So basically, they agreed with me, but it was Warner Brothers. It was all Warner Brothers because all these blocked. I had twenty two blocked marathons. And uh, since I there were five opportunities to dispute them, every time I would dispute with Warner Brothers, they agreed. So basically, these two, this, these twenty two marathons were unblocked because thanks to Warner Brothers. So now that's going to be my main thing. Like if there is not a Warner Brothers song on the marathon, like then I'll add one, I guess. But I I always add a song, you know, to usually to the people that, you know support the channel the most like you guys so but yeah i really i'm really interested in the spandau spandau um ballet um the, the 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 other song all right but this was just fantastic it was great everything about this was quality i loved the voice i loved the, the chord progressions it was just so catchy really cool um okay so my uh, style council like style council um, we've talked about a lot on the channel, um, and um, and I know that a lot of people love this band. This is a very famous, famous band. Uh, just give me one moment. All right, I'm back. Um, so, like we said, Style Council is next, and uh, oh, I forgot to put on my beanie. <laughs> I left it somewhere in the living room. Um, I had to do something on the computer. I uh, got a notification. So my ever-changing moods. And like I said, we're going to do the version. Um, uh, the I listened a little bit, you know, just to see because why are there four versions? What's so different? So I listened to the first five seconds. One is literally like an acoustic, very slow. But I wanted to do, you know, I think Matt wanted me to do this one. I just went with the longest one. Uh, five minutes and 43 seconds. So here we go. crazy like this if i wouldn't if you wouldn't tell me this is the style council i would say this is wham you know it sounds like wham um paul weller it's paul weller and um what is it mick talbot because yeah it sounds so much like wham like um you know george michael um I don't know. Like it has that same flair, you know, and I love it sounds really good. It sounds really really good this music. Like this is the type of pop like so far the first song and the second song that's the type of music I would listen to all day. Like 
if there if I didn't have anything else, you know, um, or just like this is music that just would never like kind of like bore me or anything, you know. It has that amount of I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't really explain. It's just very good. Really cool. Well, let's continue. <laughs> good i really noticed like this band i mean yes it has like the, this pop sound but there's there's also a lot of like 
like rhythm and blues in there and like a little bit of jazz, you know, but not too much, just like a little bit, I guess, to give it a, a little bit of more of an interesting sound, you know, because it had this Latin like, like, and there's, I I guess the guitar, you know, like it was a little bit of like, it had a little bit of like a Latin flavor in there. And just like the, I guess, I think that was a, the trumpets. They just gave it a little bit more of a, you know, like a jazzy kind of like, you know, flavor. You know, it wasn't, it didn't feel so popish or synthy at all. And um, this was when, oh, let's see. Oh, this is again another best of. Long hot, no. My ever-changing moods. Let's see what year this was. <clears throat> 1984 okay cool yeah i mean it does i like i like it really cool yeah and i like really i was kind of fooled because i would have thought like yeah this could have been wham or something you know along those lines Okay, so here are the, I did the extended versions. I guess, you know, a little bit of a longer fade out and stuff like that. And there's another one, which is just three minutes and 40 seconds. So I guess that's the radio version. Very cool. Really, really cool. I'm sure a lot of people are going to like this. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, this is a f Fine Young Cannibals. Couldn't care more. Um, let's see, we said what year. 1985. It, it seems like we're going into like year of release 81, 82, 83, 80, 45, 87 at the end. The build. Okay, let's go with the uh, fine young cannibals. Here we go. This voice is so good. I mean, this is like, 
I can with this guy. This is so good and fun. This music. It it almost but it, at the beginning it had like, is this gonna be like reggae or ska? I don't I don't know because of the drums, maybe, but this is amazing. And I think I'm finding a pattern here because I looked like I typed in fine young cannibals like style and it says pop rock and then i i typed in other bands like and then it's like abc spend no ballet <laughs> like it's all these bands so i'm gonna put like pop rock marathon in the description that's what it is because um let me see i mean maybe let, let's see if matt wrote me anything um oh no okay he said he called it new romantic mix okay i mean yeah i can pop rock romantic mix <laughs> uh it's, it's so good man like this is like this is so anti anti matt because this music is all super successful super well known not by me but by everybody else all these bands have like five million listeners you know 10 million listeners and usually when i do something f that like matt chooses it's like i don't know not the, as many <laughs> so this is just very good um not that i don't like the others i love the others other stuff but it's more it's usually more underground and that's also the music that i listen to when i when i look at the musicians that i listen to that i find the greatest you know and the best, it's sad to see that they have like no, they have monthly monthly listeners, but it's like not in the six digits, you know, um, or the seven digits. Um, okay, uh, let's continue. This is so good. It reminds me a little bit like UB40, um, but not as like because UB40 is obviously reggae, you know, but. This is just, I don't know, I even like this more than UB40. I don't know why. Or maybe I like them the same. I, I don't know. Let's continue. this band um i i also love that it's so ba it's so bass driven like it's like the bass is doing way more than in a usual in a normal band you know where the bass is just playing you know the the note of the chord he's literally playing triads here you know really cool stuff arpeggios and really cool Okay, now this one, a uh, build from the House Martins. Um, let's see, from 1987. Let's see, and uh, we'll we'll do another one by Spandau Ballet. Okay, because it's a little bit under 25 minutes, the music. Um, so we'll we do we'll do that. But let's go with build first. Here we go. This sounds literally like 
the cranberries but before because the cranberries is obviously a 90s band it's almost like the cranberries were influenced by these good man this is so good um but I'm, I'm totally wrong it says here that like cranberries were influenced by the smiths the cure zuzi and the banshees sanit o'connor elvis and etc and basically people that were influenced by the cranberries were adele arcade fire alanis morissette etc and stuff like that so yeah but i this is so good really cool really different um what does it say here? Um, this is one of Britain's more popular indie guitar pop groups of the late 80s. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this. This is really good. Really, really good. Especially the vocalist, the piano, the whole vibe is very easygoing. Very, very, very easy to get into. I love it. Sticks and up with bricks, in with boots and up with roots. It's in with suits and new recruits. It's bare.
So good. Very cool. Very interesting, this band. Very, very cool. Oh, what's next? Devo. I did two Devo uh, reactions for Lee the other day. I guess that, I don't know. Th this is what, what Spotify would recommend after. Like, it switches to radio. Uh, basically, the last song you you heard, and then it kind of, like, takes off on its own. This is what they would recommend afterwards. But we're going to go with Spandau Ballet. And we're going to do the single. It says single edit. Why single edit? Um, is there not like another version of true? Spandau Ballet. As long as it's. Okay, so this is from the actual album, 1986, the 12-inch the mixes. It has another version of gold, seven minutes. And it has... Let's see. What's different about these two? Just the time, I think. Let's see. Oh, that's it's pretty. No, it's pretty much the same. Okay, well, we're gonna go with the gold one because it's a little bit shorter, but just thirty seconds. But I think if they put it on their gold, it has the same amount of views as the the other version. There's one. There's well, there's a version that's five minutes and thirty seconds, and then there's a six minute version. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, six minutes and five seconds. But I guess since they put the this one on the gold, I guess that's the one they, they like better. So let's play that. It's not about the 30 seconds at all. I just want the best to be on this marathon. And it's also, I want it to be um, Warner Brothers. Now, let's see the 12 inch mixes. Is that Warner Brothers? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So it doesn't really matter which one we play, but let's just play the one that they think is the better one, which is the single edit. Okay, here we go. This is the song True from the band Spandau Ballet. Here we go. I think I know this. Yeah, I know this. So good. Okay, I don't know where I know this from. I think it's in a bunch of movies. I've heard this before. Beautiful. This whole the, the, that intro, dum, ba, boom, ba, and then ba, ba, ba. like it's so, man, it's so memorable. So true. Funny how it seems, always in time, but never in line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe. This is the sound of my soul. This is the sound. I bought a ticket to the world, but now.
so good and it says here i'm reading like <laughs> everything i can about this it says norman thought he, the band had a friendly a friend friendly rivalry with the randoran in the studio uh and then it says we used to leave each other insulting messages jokes and caricatures that's so cool no but yeah i and uh at least three things that I know of, like Modern Family is a very funny show. They play it in there. Fifty First Dates. I'm sure you have watched that movie. And um, it was also in another movie here. Um, Sixteen Candles. Wow. That's like super like epic stuff, you know. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, there's all these covers. Yeah, it's so cool. This is very good. I'm so happy I did this without knowing. I had no idea this was such an epic. I mean, it had the views. 397,800,000 plays. But, you know, yeah. Usually when, when, when it has that many plays, I might have heard it on this I've definitely heard it before. The like I've never really paid attention to the lyrics, but it's beautiful. Very cool. Okay. 
so trivia for you guys. So when he does that, um, it says here in the lyrics, it says, ha, 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 ha. you know, H U H, ha. Huh? It actually says, this is the original lyrics right here. It's, it's I, or, I mean, it says here, lyrics provided by music match. I, uh, maybe this is a AI. It says here, ah, 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 like the I. I, 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 instead of ha, ha, ha. I don't know. You know, um, uh, I could be wrong, but it says here on Spotify that it's I, who knows, you know. I, I guess it would be in the original booklet of the album. But this was awesome. All these songs were super memorable, super great compositions, great pop, um, pop rock, you know, I think. Um, just very, very cool. Thank you so much, Matt. I do appreciate it because the sometimes, you know, it's difficult to, uh, especially when it's songs that are so out there, you know, it's kind of hard to, to, to react to them. Not hard. It's actually cool because it creates conversation, but here it's just so much easier to enjoy and you don't have to think too much about it because it's just, this music is just like written to be like, literally like gold you know like it's musical gold you play this on the radio and it's gonna be a hit so this was awesome thank you so much matt for getting in touch with me um for this marathon i i loved it every single one and i think this add-on at the end just like sealed the deal this was perfect i loved it i'm definitely gonna listen to it right now again while i edit the video so thank you so much thanks everyone for watching um let me know what you thought and also where were you you know when you were listening to these i mean epic songs like these epic radio hits you know the, these the all these songs were like on charts and on the top and i guess it's like the soundtrack you know of someone's could have been the soundtrack of someone's life you know there's people that you know just listen to popular music and uh, that's basically what they know you know so let me know what you think and what where, where were you doing when this music came out and uh, let's talk about it thank you so much again and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>